Hello, hello, guys. Can you listen to me? Alex and Heidi. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good hey, evening. How are you? Good evening. Wow, my 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 shirt color, you know, doesn't look good. Ah, yes, teacher. <laughs> so, how's everything? Are you ready for today's session? Yes, teacher. Nice. Great to hear that. And Alex, can you listen to me? Yes. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay. So welcome, guys. It's uh, eight o'clock, and we need to start our session. Okay. And well, today is our session number. Let's see, number twelve. Okay. And we are going to start. I mean, we are not going to start. We're going to continue with the topic we uh, started yesterday, which is about permission, obligations, and provisions. And with today's session, we are going to finish. Uh, this is section number four. So this means that you need to complete. Uh, if you haven't finished until section number four, you, you can uh, do so maybe today or don't exceed this week because from tomorrow, we are going to start section number five and that is going to be our last uh, week. So today we are, we are closing week number three, because today is Tuesday. And we started on Tuesday, back in, I don't know, uh, the beginning of this month, okay? So basically uh, what I want you to do is to make sure you have finished or you can finish section four. The topic is, so that's what it means. Yeah, that's the topic of this section. So please complete it. I would like to know if you guys already finished it or if you have any questions. Good evening, teacher. I Good have finished the you finished? section four. The section four. Nice. Great to hear that. Okay. So that tells me that you finished section four. Okay. Oh, great. No question, teacher. No questions. That's really good. I, I, I like my. <laughs> okay. No questions. Everything looks good. Okay. Okay, nobody has questions. I can see Gerardo, Alex, Heidi, Breeze, and Julio are connected. So, and no questions. So this is really cool. And have you completed the, the listening on section number four? The one in which you need to, you need to see some, um, well, they give you some scenarios. You need to listen and check if it is true or false. Have you done that? Yes or not? And there's another section here. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, which has some images. Okay, so I can, let me see if I can share the screen. So this ones, make sure you complete all these ones, which basically um, contain some images here. You need, to, you need to check on the options in this drop down menu here. And so if you have finished this part, you want to move on with the next section here, which is the listening. Do that because uh, that's gonna be, well, this is the last exercise for this section, okay? So I'm glad if anybody has any question, please just raise your hand and ask, okay? We are going to continue today. And today we have, I was saying at the beginning, this is session 12. And we're going to just go over some aspects, how to use can, how to use be allowed, and can't, which is the negative form. And we also talked about how to express permission, obligation, and prohibition, right? So that's basically uh, what we're going to be studying today. And yesterday we began to study um, these structures. We study can't, we study uh, be allowed to, and we also study have to or have got to, right? And there was an activity that we were not able to finish yesterday. And some of you already uh, shared, but some of you haven't shared you know, your uh, sentences. And I would like you to please share. And this is what I'm talking about. Let me share my screen right now. I'm talking about the following. Well, this is today's topic. And we have 
this activity, right? And I remember that I asked you yesterday to write about activities you can do at work, activities uh, that you are allowed to do at work, and what do you have to do at work? And let's see, we are seven plus myself. So we are eight connected, eight participants. I want to hear some um, ideas. Please raise your hand and open your mic and speak, please. Say, well, in my work, I can do this and this and this and that, and try to add more details. And I am not allowed to do this because of that, because of this, and I have to do this. So try to make it sound as if it is one um, very short uh, description, okay? So who would like to participate? Awesome, thank you so much. Go ahead, Gerard. Okay, uh, what can you do? Uh, I can read the book sitting in the park. What are you al allowed to do? You are allowed to go out with your friend only at the park. And what do you have to do? I have to exercise almost 30 minutes all day. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. Do you like reading, Cheddar? What? Do you like reading? Yes, yes. Yes. And what is the last book you read? Or what is the uh, book you are reading? In this moment, I have two books. Okay. I can read for this month. The first is uh, uh, El Diario de Eliseo. JJ Benítez, and the second is the, the John Katzenbach is Jaque al Psicoanalista. Interesting. I have never read those books. <laughs> Interesting. And try to look for the English version if there is, if there is, so that, that way you can also improve your vocabulary. When you are reading in English, it's a great practice because you expand, you enhance your knowledge, and you know that's really cool. I, I think I, I saw I saw the series in Netflix, uh, the Ozark, only in English, only English with subtitles, and and this is this very very interesting. In, understand the sounds and uh, some words. Yeah, you feel really good, right? Whenever you are watching a series or any movie and all of a sudden you understand what they are saying without you, you know, having to read the subtitles, you know, it's really cool. So yeah, that's a good practice. And then if you like, you can also, when you have some time, try to write new words, right? And try to use them and make them part of your vocabulary. Yes, so that's really cool. Thank you so much for sharing your experience about your reading habits. I think we all have to have these habits. I love reading as well. I don't read, um, I, I mean, whenever I have time and I love doing this with my, with my students, I love to do, you know, reading with my students and I usually assign a book so we can you know all read at the same time that's really good because sometimes when you are reading by yourself uh, it's not the same as if somebody else is doing it because you can discuss and that's really cool so i always suggest reading in pairs so if you have a book have somebody else to read with you and then you discuss because you forget to read today but if somebody else asks you hey what do you read you have this challenge and you have this motivation to discuss so i think you know, pair reading is really good. So thank you so much once again for your experience. I would like to hear more opinions about these three questions here. Who wants to read? Now we are 12 connected. That's really good. Open your mic, please, and talk to us. Teacher, sorry I'm late. Can you explain me again the instruction, please? Sure, uh, Blanca. I, we, I can explain to you this. What well, we're just sharing, this is an activity that we left pending yesterday. Um, if you can, 
describe in a short summary what you do or what you can do at work, what you are allowed to do at work, or what do you have to do at work? And if you want to talk in general, it's okay. But the intention is that you use all these structures. Can't, I'm allowed to, um, and then have got to, and this structure that we studied yesterday. So open your mic and go and speak about, about you, basically. Would you like to try? <clears throat> I think the example, but I don't know. Um, we can release before, uh, after the work. Yes? Release, like leave, leave work. Sorry. Like release, when you say release, does it mean like irse del trabajo, like leave of work? Release, take off, go back home. Is that what you mean? Because I. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I under not understand. Yeah. Dead. Did you say? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's uh, activities uh, after work in home or outside. You can you can talk about whatever you do at work, okay, or after work or outside. Oh, okay. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's your decision. But what is okay. needed? Yeah. So in general, you can say that. I'm just giving it to you at work as a reference. But then if you want to talk as Gerard did in general, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to give you one minute for you to think yes. about your ideas and then Thank we're going you. to listen to Pris. Pris, go ahead. Okay. Uh, um, about my job, I can go out at 5 p.m. I allow to take a break a morning. I don't allow it. <laughs> and I have to answer my emails and my reports. Nice, you have to answer your emails and report. Great. So you are not allowed to eat at work. Wow. Maybe only in the lunch time, right? Because if you are mm -hmm. eating in the workplace, maybe it's, it's prohibited, right? Mm -hmm. If okay. at that day says, but I only eat. But, okay, <laughs> but you never pay, you never follow the rules. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least a candy, right? A candy or a cookie, you know, whenever we're hungry, I understand it's really useful and it's really nice to eat a candy. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Is there anybody else? Guys, I would like you to speak, please. Speak to me, speak to the class. Don't be afraid, open your mic because I know you have great ideas to share, but, I, we, want, but we want to listen to them. Come on, anybody else? Milton, ready? Want to share with us? Yes? Oh, hey, okay. go ahead, go ahead. Um, I can, I, excuse me, can I sit here? Other can I use the computer? And the other, the obligation is you have to brush your teeth. I have to go to my work. And the permission is you cannot use for your tablet, my son. I cannot eat dessert. I cannot eat dessert. Like the dessert is when you eat uh, like something sweet, right? It, that's a dessert, okay? okay Great, thank you so much. Yeah, you cannot use your tablet, son, okay? Don't use it if I don't give you permission, okay? Great, uh, anybody else who would like to share? Teacher. Wow. Yes, go ahead, Milton. Is it about the, the use the word uh, the 
the word is specific uh, work work it's, okay well go ahead yeah if you yeah. have ideas about work yeah okay hey, okay let go hey, i can work anywhere in the city hey, i have to work only only five days a week i allow uh, my brother <clears throat> to use my car tonight because I not work today. Okay, thank you so much. Just remember Milton, how to pronounce okay. this word. This is allowed with the allowed. This ED, allowed. yeah, this ED, allowed. ED, yeah, ED is the sound end, like a- The D. end is allowed, allowed. Allow, allowed, allowed. Yeah. okay, allowed. thank you. Allowed, very good, okay. Is there anybody else who would like to share? I don't want you to keep your ideas. They are really important for me and for you to, to share. Do you have any any idea that you want sure. to share? Yes. Okay, um, okay um, my turn. And the, and the first, uh, what can you do? Um, I can review my personal emails at home. And what are you allowed to do? I allow to do some PP meeting at work. And what do you have to do? I have to make weekly reports at work. Nice, thank you so much. Great ideas, very clear, mm -hmm. Alex. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, so thank you. Is there anybody else? Can I? Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> Uh, the first, what can you do at work? I can manage a human resource in order to get results. For example, uh, what are you allowed to do at work? I allow to do to act. I I allow to access to any place or department and the plant. Uh, for example, the warehouse, the production floor, uh, the office. And the third, what do you have to do? At home, for example, after the class, I must help to, my daughter uh, to prepare all things about the school. For example, the bag, the clothes, the shoes, and all these things. Thank you, nice, nice ideas. Great to hear that, okay. Julio, great, good job, very clear. So let's continue, let's continue guys. I want to give you these ideas because I consider it's important even though it's not stated on the platform, but I wanna say that we can also use, I know maybe you already know this, but I want to review, okay? Uh, so I want your participation, please. We can use can for permission, we know this already, but we can also use it for request, right? So can you give me an example using can for requests? Any idea? We can use can in these ways to ask for something, request. Can you create one sentence please or one? Uh -huh. Anything. Can you? Can can you share your I don't know your phone no share the bicycle? Can you share your bicycle? Can you share your phone number? Your phone. Yes. What about us to do something? What comes to your mind? Please open your mind or go ahead and use the chat. Let's take advantage of this time, guys. Send your examples on the chat. Or maybe to ask other people to do something for us. You can use can. I'm going to give you some examples so you create more like similar like this. Take a look at this one. Can I open the window in here? I heard this example previously. Can we sit here? Can I have two copies and, and a Coke, please? And can you help me? This is very common. What other examples can you give me? Think about right now, right now, this class, what can you request? 
or maybe at your home or where you are? What are some things that you can request or you can use can for permission? And give me some examples. Can I get up early or late? Okay, yes, good. More examples, please. Open your mic and speak. Yes, now see, we can use can for ability. Yes, abilities, of course. That's the other use. Can you drive? Can you drive? That's drive. for abilities. Uh -huh. Can you drive? Yes. Or I can say, imagine you are with your, with any, maybe your relative and you say, hey, can you imagine Blanca is my sister? And I say, Blanca, can you drive for me? I'm asking, I'm asking her to do something. Can you drive? I'm really tired. I don't want to drive today. So can you, can you drive for me? And then Blanca drives. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom? This is very common, right? Can I go to the bathroom, please? And so on. Okay, good. Any other example? Request. Can you okay. share the password for Netflix? Uh huh. Can you share the password for Netflix? Good. And don't 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 Thank ask you. the password of Facebook to your you know you know don't do that. Don't uh, <laughs> can you cook that can dinner? You, can you reach me? Yeah, pardon. Exactly. Uh, okay. Teacher, you, yes. Can can you close your eyes one moment? Uh huh. When you want to give somebody a surprise, right? Close it. Can you close your eyes for a moment? And then you boom, open it now. Very good. Can you give, give us the procedure? Yes, Alex, that's really good. Gerard, go ahead, please. Can you reach me the remote control? Mm -hmm. Can you reach me? Good. Like asking for something. Can you reach me this or that? Good. Any other example? Can you invite me the next time? Right. Can you invite me next time? Yeah. Now I'm going to do it, but next time you do it. Can you invite me? Can you uh, buy me something to eat? Can you borrow the computer? Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it, it is, I recommend saying, uh, can I borrow? Because you use borrow with I. Can I borrow the computer? And then can you lend me? Can I come in? Yes, go ahead, please. I cannot see see Facebook in one moment. You cannot see Facebook? Yes, uh, or check my Facebook this right. moment. At this moment, exactly. That's, <laughs> the, that's you know, in this case, it's like uh, you don't have the uh, permission or maybe you don't have the ability to do it, right? Good. I can see we have more examples. Well, I suggest, uh, can you borrow the computers? Uh, I suggest saying, can you lend me or can I borrow the computer? Uh, can I come in? Can you give me the address? Yes, the address. Can you give me the address? Good. Nice. Can, well, can you lend me some money? Uh huh. <laughs> can you lend me some money? I need some money. Can you turn off the music, please? Because it's so loud and I'm in class right now. Yes, Manuel, that's a really good one. You see, but this is something that I, wanna, I want to make emphasis on. When we are, are speaking, especially in this uh, very like little, little, little time we have, it's only 60 minutes, only an hour. Please speak, open your mic, uh, send your examples, please take advantage of this time. And important, when you give your examples, try to expand. I like Ma Manuel Salgado's example because he said, can you turn off the music, please? And blah, blah, blah. And then that's really cool. You add more details. That's cool. Can I use your phone? Okay. Can I use your phone? Because I need to call my, my dad and blah, blah, blah. And you say you add more, more details. Okay. What else? Uh, let me move on because I want you to help me with uh, something at the end of this session. Let's move on with uh, this one. Important, to be polite in English, you can use or you can add the word please. We already know this, and you guys were already saying it, right? And we'll leave it at the end of the, of the sentence or the question. Give me some examples with please. Let, let's be more polite. So give me some examples. Can you wake up? Uh, tomorrow in the morning, please. Nice. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
could you please, could you help me please? Awesome. You see, Alex now is using could. Could is even more polite than can. How do you say audífonos? This one, this one's a, this one a headset. We can say headset, headphones, if it is for phones, earphones. Uh -huh. Can you please help? Like if it is, let me, if it is for computers, like the ones I'm using, you say headsets, headsets, or you, if it is for headset like this, for, uh, for headphones, earphones, these are some options. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so what do you say? What was your example? Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so let's take a look. I, let's see, where is it? Can you, can you get me the, men, the, the menu, please? You ask this to a waiter, right? Or to a waitress. Can you tell me the time, please? Please? Okay. Uh, and now, this is the challenge, because remember, when we are asked this type of question, we also respond. So give me one way how you respond. If I ask you, can you participate, please? What do you respond? What do you say? The short answer is no, no, or oh, yes. But is the um, the completed? It's yes, of course. Oh. Nice. Say, yes, of course. No, okay. Is there any other expression or short phrase you use to respond? Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Okay, what else? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Do you say yes, I can? No. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Let's think about because of course you can say yes, I can, but that would be really, really or, or too formal. How about if we make it sound more like conversational, more natural? And then let's think about those phrases that we can use. Um, can you turn off the fan, please? Can you turn off the lights, please? And then what do you say? So those those phrases. Think about it. I'll give you one minute and send them to the to the to the chat or open your mic. One minute. Yes, it's a please. No. The answer. Answer. It's Possibly. a pleasure. It's a yes, pleasure. it's a pleasure. Okay. What else? Of also, course. Of course. Also, yes, I can. I should. Um, what do you suggest? I suggest. I suggest. Uh, yes, don't uh, worry. Yes, uh, um, chicken and potato uh, of of the of including in menu. <laughs> okay, okay, I see, I see. You're offering, right? Offering uh, something like chicken and blah blah blah. This is the main dish. This blah appetizers and so on and so on. Okay, good. I heard somebody said. Yes, no problem, right? I heard that. Okay, take a look at this one. Can you help me? Of course, you said it. Very good. Somebody said it. Alguien no dijo. Somebody said it. Of course, this is very popular, very common. And then sure, sure, only sure, or certainly, 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 like you are, you are, very positive. And we have others in here. Can you open the window or can I open the window? Uh, or can I bring something here? Sure, go ahead. No problem, Somebody, no worries. Yes, sure. Yes, of course you can, you see? So these phrases are very common and I want you to Please re remember then, because I know you already know this. It's just that sometimes we only use a few, but remember that we have more options. Of course, sure, certainly. Sure, go ahead, no problem, no worries. Um, yes, sure. Yes, of course you can. Or yes, of course I can. This sound more conversational, more uh, 
natural when you are speaking, okay? So I'm gonna give you one minute. Maybe you want to write the ones you like the most, or maybe you want to add the ones you use in your regular you know, activities whenever you are speaking the language. Aha, uh -huh. I like that one, Julio. That's a really good one. Sure, anytime. I, that, re, that reminds me about one of my best friends. He usually, instead of saying you're welcome, he used to say anytime. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Sounds really cool. Really nice. Anytime. When you say anytime, sounds like you are always there to help. Whenever you need my help, I'm here. You count on me and I count on you, like the song. Yes. Of course, always, always, always you need. Okay. Always you need. Of course. Um, always you need. Whenever you need it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Is there any other one I add that you want to add? No? Okay. Let's move on because I want you to help me with one activity at the end. And this is where I want to take some time for you to prepare. Let's see. I have one more. Yes, you get it. Nice. Sounds good. That's good. Let's continue. Uh, what about, what about, let's see, prohibition. And we talked about this already. Can't and mustn't. I am only adding mustn't here. Mustn't is must not, right? Somebody yesterday said about can't and somebody yesterday said something about must. And must, it also express prohibition, right? Something that is not permitted, something that is prohibited. Are used to show something is prohibited, not allowed, right? As well. So what do we say? Examples, look at this one. I have some. Uh, help me, Blanca. Number one, it doesn't have a number, but read first sentence. You can't. You can't go into the restaurant without a tie. Thank you, tie? Milton. Yes, without a tie. Milton, number two. You can um, you can go you can go to uh, with with a with, with a, a clause in appropriate. Okay, so you are making one up. Good, thank you so much. Julio, second, please, the second one here. You can't? Sure. You can't drive in this country unless you are over 18. Exactly. Nice. What else would you add, Julio? Is it necessary only to have uh, 18, and only to be 18 years old? What else is needed here? Here in the El Salvador? Uh-huh. I think it's not necessary how 18 years old. I think you can access to one, uh, I don't know how to say, licencia. License. Right. I don't know. Uh, when you have 16. So, so when you are uh, 15, you can have the access to get a license. Okay, yes, nice. It's a, it's a kind of permission. It's a permission. Under the nice, okay. Yeah, it's like, I wanted to hear that because here in this country, if you have money, if you can pay, you, can, you are given a permission, right? Good, thank you so much. Nelsie, read the, the next one, please. You mustn't. Okay, you mustn't. Uh, you mustn't use your phone in class. Mm -hmm. Good. Now is the other way around because in my classes, like on uh, like during the day, I ask my students to use their phone because we need them, <laughs> right? But then uh, let's say we think back in time, maybe two or three years ago, when the pandemic wasn't, you know, um, not even as expected, we used to let's say, okay, no phones in the class. But now it's different. 
we need technology. It's, this is crazy. Okay, let's move on. Obligation, we have uh, have to, and also we have must because they both express obligation. So, so let's, let's uh, work on this. We have more examples here. Alex, read the first one, please. We have. We have to be at the airport at least two hours be before, the, before the flight. Next one, please. Let's see Miguel Ramirez. Can you help us with the next mm -hmm. one? I have to work in Saturday. Uh -huh. Okay, next one. Uh, let's see Julio. Again, please. They have to. They have to wear their uniform at, uniform at the school. Good, Jennifer, that's cool. Thank you so much. Uh, Heidi, next one. I must. I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow. I must hand, I must hand in my thesis. Good. Mm. And last one, let's see. Uh, Milton, please help me, please. I, I must call my parents. I must call my parents. Good. Very good. Now, guys, I think we have time. This is what I want to do. This is what I really want to focus on. How many are we? Let me see. Yeah, 14. I want to give you some time because this is what I really want to, um, let's say, I want you to demonstrate and bring your creativity and use your knowledge and create one conversation. It can be in pairs or in groups of three. And think about scenarios. I only give you three scenarios, but you can, of course, uh, come up with another one. We have uh, parents and children, maybe father, son, mother, daughter, or you decide, or maybe it can be a group of coworkers, boss, employee, teacher, student. Think about these scenarios and then create one conversation, okay? Where obligation, prohibition, and permission is is considered or takes place, okay? And then it's gonna be up to you what you wanna talk about. Think about possible scenarios and try to, you know, uh, get all these ideas together. Use can't, use have to, use must if you would like to, use uh, be allowed to, those things. I'm going to give you, we have plenty of time. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes for this time, for this dialogue, create it, in groups, I'm gonna create groups randomly. And then whenever you finish, boom, we come back and we start sharing, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. Before I send teacher, you guys to the groups. Uh-huh. Teacher, Quite. excuse me. I, I am seeing this uh, third dosis vaccination COVID. Uh, should not participate. Is, oh, uh, okay. Listen to. Okay, no problem. So you are only uh, going to be listening, right? Okay, okay. Okay, yes, yeah, sounds good, uh, sounds, sounds good. And then the rest take like, uh, oh, like take advantage of this time with your peers and, and work on this scenario. Maybe you want to screenshot this so you can have it as reference. Think about an opening, hey, how are you doing? It's like, if it is a boss, I, I hadn't seen you like in ages. So tell me, or maybe you are an angry boss. Or maybe you are an angry father. So make it sound like that. Okay. Do you have questions before I send you guys to the groups to work on this? No. 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 All right. No so let's take, a, let's take advantage of the time because, we, uh, you know, it really, like, the time really flies. Let me see. I'm going to create, if it is, maybe it's going to be groups of three or maybe pairs. Let me see. Here we go. So, one second, here we go, boom.
Sí, también se puede. Ajá, este, y de, I can, I can, the press, I can present my homework that tomorrow. Teacher is doing. Mm, teacher. Teacher student, you choose. Yes. Okay. Be boss employee. Okay. Can I start like, hello guys. And um, did you finish your homework already? My dad is Manuel. I am your home. His home. His son. And then. The teacher is here. Teacher, lo estamos armando primero en español para. No Spanish, come on. This is. No, no, the teacher is here. In, in, intermediate, intermediate level, come on, no Spanish, okay? Only idea, idea. Uh, uh -huh. uh, this is This is conversation for the, the co-workers. Okay. Juan and John and Peter. <laughs> John uh, asked uh, Peter, can you arrive early tomorrow because we have the presentation? Um, Peter says, uh, I try to uh, arrive early because this in this time in, in the morning, it's uh, traffic a lot. Nice. Juan, it's, it's okay? Yeah, keep it up, keep going. I'm, I like it, I like it. Try to interact with Jeter because it's gonna be, uh, maybe Blank is gonna be the uh, boss and then Jeter the employee and so on. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and this in this conversation is to workers. Oh, okay, two co-workers, okay. Yes, right. and, and maybe, bueno, Gerald, uh, I, I, I am a Peter. Change the Peter for me, Blanky. And you have a, a Juan. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Gerardo. This is a John. John yes. Is this? Can Perfect. you? Bye bye. Okay. Bye. I need. I need. Es como también. It's to a meeting. Meeting a school. Uh, uh -huh. Hello. 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 I try in the dialogue. <laughs> Where is the teacher? So look, only, only. And I'm meeting. <laughs> only hello and go, go on. <laughs> okay. 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 Entonces, vengo yo y contesto este. I tengo que negar y para negar como no hay que mm -hmm. no Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no teacher. <laughs> well, uh -huh. And you answer. You I'm can't. Uh, you can't go early at home.
did you finish? <laughs> or didn't you finish? Yes, uh, we finish. Okay, great. Yeah, I, I like my shirt because it doesn't look as if I have a shirt. <laughs> the color. Well, listen, um, I'm glad you finished because if you hadn't finished, you will have to improvise, <laughs> but you will have to because you finished. And I'm, yeah, we are, we, are, we are the first. <laughs> yeah, the first one. Nice. People are coming. Julio, did you finish? Yes. Nice. Awesome. Let's see, Manuel, Blanca, Bea, Heidi, Breeze, Evis, uh, Milton, did you finish? Gerard, did you finish? Yes? Yes, teacher, yes. Nice, so I gave you, okay, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that because, <laughs> um, well, we have like one minute and a half to share each team, each group. There, there are five participation. So let's start, let's see. Alex, and I think it was Nelsie, right? <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. please. Nelsie? Okay, hello. <laughs> okay. okay, let me introduce our, our group teacher. <laughs> I am the, the employee and Alex is the boss. Okay, I will start. <laughs> Uh, Alex, can I go today early to my house, please? Um, Nancy, why do you need to go to uh, to go at home early? Uh, because I because today is my mom's birthday, Alex. My dear oh. boss. <laughs> okay, but if you must be complete your obligation, our client is waiting. Okay, Alex, but you remember tomorrow I need to go a meeting at the school of my children, of my son. Mm, let's see, I can't give you permission tomorrow too. Oh, okay, Alex. Finish. <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, really good reactions, reactions. Let's use the reaction. We have thumbs up, we have uh, hearts, we have likes uh, and blah, blah, blah. Good, great. That was a really good one, guys. Short but Thank sweet, you. you know, good. Uh, next one, go ahead, Julio. You're the next one with your team. Hello, my team is Manuel. Oh yeah, the and scenario. This is case be... is about dad and children and homework. All right, I'm gonna start. Hello guys, how you doing? Did you finish your homework? Hello, Hi, dad. Welcome, welcome home, dad. Nice to see you Hi. again. Yeah, did you finish your homework, guys? No, really, no. We have some issues to finish the homework. But why not? You must do it if you study, you improve your knowledge. Sorry, we can't finish the homework because we played the soccer in the afternoon. All right, I got it, but I will punish for a week. You guys are not able to play soccer next week. Sorry, Dad. Oh, we sorry. never will happen again. All right, just that. Nice, good, very good. You're punished for a week. <laughs> you're, you're grounded. Grounded means you're not going out. Really good. So I can see reactions from Brice. Uh, let, me, let me use my reaction too. Good, thank you so much. Next one, Blanca Molina, go ahead, please. Okay, my partner is Gerardo. Okay. We have uh, co-workers and we have the presentation with the bots and the team. And go ahead, Gerard. Okay. Uh, Peter, can you read earring tomorrow in the morning? Because I have a presentation to with the bus. 
Well, we'll I try to uh, arrive early uh, because always in the morning uh, I, I traffic a lot. Uh, you have you you have the shout the morning report. Don't forget. Yes, 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 yes. I try to present. Don't forget. And the presentation, the report, the monthly report tomorrow with the bus. That's it. Okay, really good. Thank you so much. So you have to present it. Don't forget the monthly report. And uh, the ver uh, okay, so thank you so much. For, I was speaking and I was muted. So thank you so much, uh, Blanca and Jera. Really good. Uh, so you have to present the monthly report. Don't forget that. And Jera, to pronounce the verb uh, llegar is arrive. arrive, arrive, arrive. Exactly. Thank you so much, Milton. Go ahead, please, Milton. Maybe Milton is not there. Milton? Grace. He's here, he's frozen. Frozen. Hey, he's not there. <laughs> Who's missing? Hello, raise your hand if you haven't participated. Don't hide. Hello, hello. Oh, hey. Hey, okay, geez. teacher. Hey, you there. Hi. Go. Hi, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Milton. Go ahead, please. Okay. I my uh, my team and I uh, we are a confusion because I work uh, uh, separate. Uh, wish. Ah. Which uh, I, I, I understand it is work or thing, okay? But uh, uh, for me, I, I have the sentence, uh, 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 a little dialogue. Uh, ah, okay. can, you, can you tell us? Sure, if you have your dialogue yourself, you can share it. But the idea is to work as a team, yes, as yes, everybody I, is. I, I, I understand. I I mentioned I mentioned the uh, my my partner, but, but in, I I think I confused. You are confused. confused. Yes. Let's do, let's do something. Prepare something for tomorrow, and you guys do it tomorrow. Okay, as a okay. team. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And and who okay. else is missing? Milton. And who else is missing? Because tomorrow, who didn't present today, are going to do it tomorrow because we want to listen to your ideas. Okay. So tomorrow okay. we start with the with the last presentations because time is over. Guys, thank you so much for your participation. It's really important and it's so cool to listen to your ideas. Have a good one. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you later. See you later. Bye.